Hello students, welcome to Sarasa classes and we will be discussing today a very important topic that is oxidation reaction by using CAN or known as ceric ammonium nitrate where the cerium is in the plus 4 oxidation state and we know cerium is basically a lanthanide. Quinones are formed by using one of the variety of oxidizing is such as you know we can use a Fremis salt or can or DD cube or even hypervalent iodine reagents just like as IBX okay the oxidation reaction can be achieved by using either substituted phenols or anilines or their derivatives at para or ortho positions and can tolerate a wide variety of functional groups okay let's see so here we have a derivative of anisole you can think of or the OR over here is an alkyl. Now this in presence of CAN will undergo oxidation and give you benzopenone. So this unit is the phenol unit wherein the para position is having another OH. So this is basically quinol and undergoing oxidation in presence of CAN to give parabenzopenone. Over here you can see this unit is almost like that of a phenol and when we use CAN this ring okay, will undergo oxidation to give you a moiety that is very similar to parabenzopenone. So having studied the above three reactions, if you are given this molecule and if you are given CAN, then using the logic of the first reaction over here, as you can see what product it is forming, we will say this unit will get converted to a parabenzopenone. Similarly, if you check over here this one, this ring, so now in the next reaction we can see again there is this particular ring over here so OH is here which will get converted to C double bond O and the para position will also get converted to C double bond O and over here we are using nothing but a Fremis salt okay and this is the product formed over here next so using the same logic that is the reaction number one in the previous slide this group or this particular moiety will get converted to parabenzopenone just like this okay now another type of reaction that it can undergo is one degree alcohols that is an allylic or benzylic can be oxidized to aldehydes and two degree to ketones if there is one or two degree alcohol then selectively two will be oxidized in presence of one degree alcohols which is very much similar to what the reagent of Ag2NO Ag2CO3 in presence of silide does okay so benzyl alcohol so we are using can and sodium bromate okay as the oxidizing agent gives you the benzaldehyde. Two degree all is getting converted to ketone and if you have a primary alcohol and a secondary alcohol, the secondary all will preferably get oxidized or selectively get oxidized. This is a hydroxybenzoin in which if you treat this with can in presence of sodium bromate, it will give you benzyl. Some more reactions again the same type. This is 2 degree, 1 degree. This is getting oxidized selectively. However, we are not using sodium bromate over here, but we are using tempo okay, as the co oxidant along with CAN. So this is 2 degree all. This is also getting oxidized to ketone. Benzaldehyde oxidized to benzyl benzyl alcohol oxidized to benzaldehyde 
this is again a 2 degree all and that is getting oxidized to the ketone. So seric ammonium nitrate oxidizes secondary alcohols into ketones and benzylic alcohols to aldehydes. The reaction shows chemoselectivity oxidizes 2 degree alls in presence of primary alcohol and so this can be achieved. Now seric ammonium nitrate can cleave beta diketones and beta ketoesters to carboxylic acid. So what is happening over here? So this is alpha and beta. Okay, so beta diketones are cleaved over here. So this is alpha and this is beta. This is cleaved over here and this unit will become the carboxylic acid. Okay, again with respect to this one, this is alpha and this is beta. So it will get cleaved over here. Similarly, this is a beta keto ester. So this is the alpha and this is the beta. It will get cleaved over here. And so we are getting our acid. This also alpha and beta. So gets cleaved over here and we are getting the. So while so this is basically this one and this one are getting converted to acid. Okay. So we will say what? This one and this one are getting converted as so we will say what during the drying process it is forming the thallic anhydride. Okay, over here, I think there is this one basically it is getting cleaved this acetal linkage, okay, or rather a ketal linkage is getting cleaved over here, and the alcohol that will be produced will now again get oxidized and it will lead to the formation of the no basically over here i think this is cleavage of the ketal that is taking place in presence of the can okay now again over here we can see this ar is your paramethoxy phenyl group which on using seric ammonium nitrate gives or cliffs this unit and this is gone as you can see this thing is gone as you can see and it will be releasing uh, the AR and the proton will be getting joined over here to produce a product of high optical purity synthesis of tertiary ethers so this is your diol and this is the ether that is produced where this is the tertiary carbon again this is the tertiary carbon <coughs> and this is also the tertiary carbon another example so what exactly okay so in the mechanism section as we can see we have the diol seric ammonium nitrate and it forms this intermediate now there are two pathways by which this mechanism will operate if you cleave this one then this is the path you are following okay if you cleave that one then this is the path you are following so let's consider one of the paths so initially if a has broken this bond then this bond will break again again homolytically so this is leading to the formation of an o dot and a c dot that can combine n is indicating over here the number of carbons due to which what will be the size of the ring that will be controlled again similar way this bond is breaking for the path b these two are joining and that is leading to the formation of the tertiary ethers okay so that finishes this section of reactions of CAN. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.